Now look, this is the 10th game of the season, and if I don't turn up real quick, I'm gonna mess around and fall even deeper into the draft than where I already am right now. So in these last games of my college career, I gotta make sure I'm trying to make every single play I possibly can cause I might mess around and have to play an extra season. But if I wanna make plays, I can't think about how I've been doing in the past. I gotta look towards the future and make sure I'm making every play that I possibly can. Speaking of making plays, second and seven, and when it looked like my boy DPJ was beat over the top, that boy jumped up and caught that pick. A 14 to zero now, on three and one, quarterback decides to use his legs, picking up the first down and more. And then on first and 10, while playing a flat, I was hoping the quarterback was gonna throw this flat route, but instead threw that ball to the sideline and it almost got picked off. On second and 10, I ended up getting caught up trying to guard two routes and then it ended up being a wide open corner route, picking up the first down. Going to flats on second and 10, and I am begging the quarterback to throw this route, but instead, those are two receivers to get third inches. They are only short inches of the first down, trying to run the ball, and they lose three. That's tough. To be honest, I cannot remember the last time Clemson beat us. I'm pretty sure I'm 3 0 against them. Well, counting this game right here, we're up 21 0 in the third quarter, just dominating them right now. Passing ain't working for them, and they're trying to get the run game going second to seven, and they just back there getting that great tackle for loss. And then finally, on third and nine, playing the deep zone, he throws his out route. I get down there and make a play on that ball. Give me that pick. And man, y'all don't even understand how happy I was, how excited I was to finally catch a pick for the first time since I don't even know when. But it don't end there. Third and inches, they're on our side of the field and basically the same scenario, playing a deep half, throwing a corner route, and I'm picking that off too. Give me that, and I'm taking this thing for six. Come on, man. Finally catching a pick, but not only just one, I caught two picks in that game, the biggest game I done had of the season so far. And not only that, I'm breaking the school record for interceptions in a career, breaking Ed Reed's previous 21. After that two pick game I just had, I know the scouts are liking that. But I know the scouts is definitely not liking this. Like I gotta aim my hit sticks better. But this week we got a big game. Playing against number nine North Carolina, who is nine and one, and we are also nine and one, ranked number three. So we already know coming into this game it's gonna be a battle. But the thing is, they don't have Drake May, but still they got some good talent on their team. Second and three, they're trying to run the ball up the middle, and I'm getting right through that gap. Hitting for a tackle for loss. Then on third and four, guarding this deep half, he ran the corner out, so I went over there, and he ended up running right back to the middle of the field to pick up the big game. Like, I don't even understand. They ran a speed option on second and 12, and they quarterback got lit up, boy. On third and nine, the quarterback tried to take the easy drag route, but instead, Jaden Harris had other plans. Jumping that route and picking that ball off, but too bad he is too slow to get the six. Somehow, offense still hasn't scored yet. It's zero to zero right now. Second quarter just started, so I'm guessing it's going to be one of those type of games i never understand why people try to run the ball on third and five it's a little qb draw and it's not happening tackle for loss we scored this time now they got the ball first and ten quarterback trying to run the ball again this time losing seven yards on that rush but then he ended up picking all that back up on this play second and 17 throwing a dot over jay rich pick up the first down i'm playing the middle on this first and ten i see this guy coming on the end ride one of that quarterback throw the ball but he ended up getting sacked Second and 18, playing the deep zone. The quarterback threw this in route a little bit too far ahead. I came down and picked that ball off. Give me that. Up 10 to 0, and at this point, the turnover is starting to get crazy. The quarterback's trying to scramble. He ended up getting tackled, and he fumbled the ball. We picked the ball up on their side of the field. Come on, man. Up 17 to 0 now in the second half, and them boys better lock in, because if they don't, we just going to go ahead and blow them boys out. Second and three, this quarterback finds his running back standing at the first down, catching the ball, picking up the first down. Coach got me playing over the top on first and 10, but I see a receiver coming across the middle, so I try to come down and make a play on the ball, but he still caught the ball, picked up the first. I know it's not safe when I'm supposed to be going to deep zone, but I come down on zones, but hey man, sometimes you just gotta have some fun and get some hit sticks. On third and four, they almost picked up this first down off this slant, but instead, bro got tackled one yard short of the first. 17 to three after they kicked that field goal and on third and eight, we're running hard, cold, man. QB tried to scrum, but every single D lineman was there. Picking up that sack. On third and three, right before that quarterback was finna get sacked, he threw a pick right to number six and he took that thing for six. Game is basically over with, but third and 10, and he's testing me deep down the field and I really wanted this, but the receiver got his hands on the ball. I had to knock that out. Here I go, man, having a stretch of games that I needed. Eight tackles, a tackle for loss, and a pick. 
Got to keep this going. We are now the number one team in the nation at 10 and one, playing against two and nine Pittsburgh. And with this being the last game of the regular season, we got to make sure that we don't even go close to losing in this game. And starting with the first drive of the game, third and 12, he's taking a check down. And the receiver took a big hit. Third and six, and I don't know what's going on with us in not catching picks or not trying to catch picks, but he swatted that ball down when really, he knows he should have picked that off. Offense turned the ball over, but not only that, they are already on our side of the field. So we got to make sure they don't score no tug. And me, with the run I've been having these last couple games, I ain't letting that happen. Second and four, and I'm guarding a slant. And I feel like he ain't throw it to my man, but I'm still there. Give me that pick, and I'm taking this thing for six. After getting tackled for loss on second and 13, they're trying to pass the ball, and the quarterback couldn't find nobody he wanted, so he tried to scramble outside the pocket and immediately got sacked. Then on third and 18, quarterback got a little desperate. He threw this ball deep down the field in double coverage. Should have been picked off, but it's incomplete. On second and 11, they decide to do a read option. This quarterback better watch out, because I'm always ready to lay the boom on somebody. See, now sometimes, even when you're guarding the deep zone, you just got to help out underneath a little bit. There's two slants, and I helped out. Quarterback had nobody to throw the ball to, got sacked. Probably their last job of the first half. Well, 14-3 right now, second and seven. They're trying to run the ball. Immediate tackle for loss. Third and 10 and we're in man coverage. I'm guarding the slot receiver and the quarterback tested me on this corner route. Give me that pick. Games like this are just what I needed to go ahead and get my stock back up. Because, man, the first half of this season was just depressing. And with it being the last game of the regular season, we'll be able to go into the conference championship with a lot of momentum. As right now, our defense just looks like an unstoppable force. I mean, not even only against this team. Even against the top team in the nation, as we see against UNC, just crazy defense. But Pittsburgh is finally back in the red zone since probably the first quarter on second and goal. He's throwing the drag route to the tight end. I'm getting a big hit on him. On third and goal, for some odd reason, the quarterback just threw this ball right in between the field goal posts. I guess they're going for three. But the game isn't over yet. They're back in the red zone, and uh, yeah, the quarterback's not done throwing picks. He throws one more just to go ahead and get up out of here. Man, what a great stretch of games I'm having. Six tackles, one tackle for loss, and two picks. But I got to make sure I can do something like that here against Clemson. And y'all know every time we play against them, we ball out. And on the first drive, the quarterback's testing my side of the field, and I'm jumping this corner route, catching a crazy one-hand pick. Give me that. And with me putting the offense that close, I really feel like they probably should have scored a touchdown. But hey, man, at least they scored some points. And really, it's fine because we know we're going to come out here and lock Clemson up. They try to run the receiver screen, and yeah, that stopped. I guess they're deciding to give up on this drive. Third and 14, they're running the ball up the middle and, you know, getting tackled, punting the ball. Now listen here, plays like this are why my draft stock is starting to go down. Because like, what am I doing? I almost hit the quarterback, but then I kind of, you know, second guessed it. And he ended up taking that for a big game. Trying to run the outside run on second and 10, and they ain't gained nothing. We're running cover two man on third and 10, and this quarterback made a big mistake. He threw it to my zone. Give me that pick. And well, offense didn't do anything with my pick, but you at least got to do something with this pick right here. Another pick thrown by that quarterback. It's like he playing catch with us. We are not your receivers, my guy. Offense ended up scoring with that pick, and now we're up 10 to 0 on second and 10. They end up taking a loss after throwing that flat, loss of five yards. And then, third and seven, the quarterback throws another pick to Damari Brown again. That's my boy's second pick of the game, and he's taking this thing for six. Right now, we're going crazy. We're up 17 to 0 in the second quarter with two minutes left. I got two picks, and Damari Brown got two. Third and six, the quarterback takes a wide open drag route, and somehow he finds a way to not pick up this first down. Falls one yard short, goes out of bounds. Because they were scared to go for it, they're down 17 to 0 in the second half. Now on third and six, getting tackled for another fourth down. It's almost like this quarterback thinks that we are his wide receivers. Almost had another pick for us, but that was dropped. On third and four, they were in a screenplay. And this is the first time a screenplay has worked on us in a long time. That should end up picking up the first down. Running the speed option on first and 10, and the quarterback decided to keep the ball, getting tackled by two people. I mean, the running back was going to get killed anyway. Running the ball for real on second and 13, and he's getting tackled for loss. I don't know why they keep trying this, but I guess. At this point, their whole offense is just lost. Third and 16, he can't find no one to throw the ball to, just scattering around in the pocket, breaking a couple of sacks, but finally getting taken down. On first and 10, they had a touchdown. Jay Rich got beat over the top, and still, they couldn't complete that pass. But it didn't happen just one time. It happened once again, and this time, it was complete for the touchdown, their first points of the game. I put that one on me. Because now, Clemson got the ball back, and it's three minutes and a half left. And if they score fast enough and get a stop on our offense, they have a chance to win this game. 
But I don't think they understand that if they keep running the ball like this, that's not going to happen. They finally decide to pass the ball on third and 12, taking a slant, and now it's going to be fourth down. And this is basically going to decide the game because they don't get this, it's over. Fourth down, quarterback drops back in the pocket and delivers a dot to a slant right before he was going to get hit. He made that catch. On third and two, they're going for the end zone. And really, this should have been picked off. I don't know what's going on with us in dropping picks. Going for it on fourth and two, and all they need is two yards, so they took the flat route and they easily picked it up. Second and go, no room on the field, and I'm standing around in the middle of the field waiting for him to throw it, and he does give me that pick, and I'm taking this thing for six. Come on now. And now for that pick, I now hold a new NCAA record for the longest pick six in NCAA history with 103 yards. What a game, eight tackles and three picks. As we win another ACC Conference Championship and most likely my last time doing this. And now, we got the Natty to worry about. Before that, you know what I'm saying, got a couple awards. But now, it's time for the Natty. And in the National Championship, we're playing against 12 and one, number two ranked in the nation, Ohio State. This is gonna be a game. Third and two, the quarterback don't find nobody he wanna throw the ball to, so he decides to use his legs. He got an open lane, picks it up, but before he can go down, I knocked him off his feet. Second and six, they decided to run a speed option. He threw that thing to the running back, and I'm knocking that boy out too. Playing some pretty great defense. Here on third and nine, amazing man defense caused this quarterback to throw that ball right to our DB. Picked off. So, offense didn't do anything with it. But y'all know how we do. We can come back out here and lock up once again. Try to run a speed option on second and 14, and all that happens is attack for loss. Big hit too. Then on third and 18, the only way to pick this up is throw it deep. But instead, he has to take a check down because he ain't got nothing deep. Gets tackled, fourth down, gotta punt that ball. And again, it's a defensive game right now. They got a stop, and now we got another stop. Still 0-0 zero zero right now, almost a minute left in the first half, and they're finally starting to march down the field, getting a slant for the first down. On second and one, the quarterback tried to scramble outside the pocket, but instead him to get sacked for eight yards. Then on third and nine, they ran slants. Linebacker standing right there, amazing defense swatting that thing down. It's the second half now, we finally got a touchdown. All we gotta do is keep on preventing them from scoring, and we can win this game easily. Third and six, I'm playing a deep half. This receiver ran a post route, tried to get down there and make a play on the ball, but great defense from Jay Rich. Here they go, back trying to run the ball again with that quarterback, and that's just not happening. Losing four yards. When you run screens against us, there's a 1% chance that you can complete that and get the first down. And here, this is the 99%. Now, this is the downfall of Ohio State. Well, 14-0, the quarterback tried to scramble, got hit, and fumbled, and we picked that ball up. That's tough. And that's game. And so, we went back-to-back -back national championships. Come on, man. Not catch no picks in this game, but definitely made a lot of plays. And as a defense, we just did what we've been doing all season. Locked up. But hey, man, set a new record for interceptions in the career for Miami at 28. But that's not the only place where you can see my name at in the record books. And now I need y'all to look at my season stats and how many picks I had this season. Nine. And it's crazy because I went like seven, nine, eight games or whatever with just one pick. And so, through these three years of my college career, what do you think I'm going to get picked at the NFL Draft? And do you think my college career is first-round pick worthy? 